A stunning announcement from former President Trump. The ex-commander-in-chief says he's heading south to the U.S.-Mexico border. In a statement, Trump said in part, quote, I have accepted the invitation of Texas Governor Greg Abbott to join him on an official visit to our nation's decimated southern border on Wednesday, June 30th, 2021. Trump's upcoming visit comes as Vice President Kamala Harris faces ongoing criticism for traveling not to the border specifically. She traveled to Guatemala, Mexico City, but not the border. This after being appointed Biden's border czar. Joining us to discuss, Michael Cutler. He's a retired senior special agent for Immigration and Naturalization Services. And our panelists, Melanie Burkholder and Ted Harvey, are here as well. So, Michael, at this point, it looks like Trump might beat the sitting vice president to the border in the race there. Oh, lost Ted for a second there. Uh, what do you make of this decision to accept Governor Abbott's invitation, Michael? Well, you know, President Trump was the first president in decades to address the issue of the lack of border security because it impacts the entire country. You know, the focus is on the Mexican border, but let's remember that when aliens get across the border, they don't stay there. It's not like Neil Armstrong landing on the moon, planting a flag, grabbing rocks, and going home. These folks are headed for the rest of the United States. Uh, we've seen stash houses in the so-called border states along the Mexican border. But I have to tell you, as an agent whose entire career was spent in New York City, we found stash houses here in New York. This is a problem that spans the entire country. It undermines national security. It undermines public safety. It undermines jobs and wages for Americans. And this is the thing that we've seen about President Trump. Putting Americans first begins by sovereignty, by making certain that the security, safety, and livelihoods of Americans are the first concern of our government, not an afterthought. You know, we've, we've spoken about the border wall and the decision by President Biden to stop further construction of the wall. We've now learned that the Texas governor, Greg Abbott, is going to uh, take the challenge upon himself in building it. Watch this. Texas has a plan to step up uh, and continue the process of building a wall because we need to to help protect our fellow Texans from the unbelievable number of people coming across the border. Melanie, what do you make of this decision? What message does it send about the fact that Texas is having to uh, build this wall to protect themselves, at least the border towns? Well, it sends the message that President Trump was right in to uh, ensure that uh, we are safe in this country and building a wall makes sense and it works. And it also helps the employees of the Border Patrol because they are diverted right now with uh, children coming across the border that they're having to care for when they should be focused on the cartel and the drugs that are coming into this country illegally, as well as the humans that are coming into this country illegally. So Michael said it perfectly, and thank you for your service, sir. Uh, wonderful uh, career that you had there. And, you know, we need to focus on protecting our borders. I live in California. We have a border crisis. Kamala Harris is absent in this crisis. What an embarrassment to that administration that our former president is going to be at the border before a city current vice president, who's the czar of border security. So I don't know what message does that send to the American public that we're not safe and she doesn't care. June 30th, again, the day Donald Trump plans to head to the border. Ted, do you think this could be the first time TV cameras really get an inside scoop as to, to what's happening at the border? Again, the conditions, the facilities that these migrants are being kept in. Well, I think what it's going to do is point out to the American people what a failure this administration is. And, and truly, to your point, that it, the failure that the media has been over the last 120 days, that they are not reporting on the fact that there is a humanitarian crisis going on at the border and that Joe Biden is specifically responsible for that. Um, they've been covering it up. They have not been reporting it. And if this was Donald Trump's administration and this was happening, the media would be going 24 seven on this, but they've been hiding it from the American people so they don't understand what's going on. And Donald Trump's gonna put a big spotlight on this problem that we have. 180,000 crossings in the month of May alone, a record number there. And numbers uh, don't have a partisan bias there. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.